I'll have a burger and milkshake. Hold the cow. Imagine you sit down, you order yourself a burger, you order a milkshake, you're enjoying it, and the enjoyment is enhanced by the knowledge that you are not contributing to any kind of negative environmental impact, that no animals were harmed at any stage of this process, that you are having guilt-free fast food. Now that is a future I think we can all identify with, and it's one that's on its way. You see, you might remember from a previous episode, we talked about lab-grown meat. A team of researchers was looking at a way to do an equivalent of a cow biopsy and then grow cow tissue in the lab, making a hamburger out of real beef, even though a cow never died to create it. But it was also real expensive. We're talking a price tag around $325,000 per burger, which even for a gourmet burger joint is a little steep. But in the years since then, the processes have improved and become more efficient and less expensive. And now that same burger would cost you about $11. And now we're talking. Of course, we're still years away from the time where you could hop into a fast food joint or a grocery store and buy this kind of meat. For one thing, the process still relies on some animal products, which the team hopes to replace with alternatives once they find some that work just as well. For another, we'd have to figure out how to scale up the process to make it viable so that we could eliminate cattle grazing while still allowing the world to enjoy steak. But meat is just one part of the equation. What about dairy? You see, we also raise cows to produce milk and that can be an issue too. I mean, I haven't had a beef burger in about 20 years, but I would be weeping copiously if you took my cheese away from me. So what is science's answer to the dairy problem? Well, there is a company called Moo Free that's creating synthetic milk using genetically altered plant material. Specifically, they have vats of yeast and they add cow genes to it. So I guess technically this isn't cow-free, but it's definitely cow light. The milk can even be lactose-free, which is great news for some of you out there who find that stuff to be intolerable. Not only that, but by tweaking a few additives to the milk, you can make it mimic any kind of milk. It could be goat's milk or even buffalo milk. And that milk can be converted into all the dairy products that we love, like butter and ice cream and my beloved cheese. Ultimately, the story here is that we could reverse the trend in agriculture in destroying various ecosystems to turn them into grazing grounds. That is great news to actually create more forests and jungles, creating carbon sinks, while simultaneously being able to order a cheeseburger and milkshake that never even saw a cow. I've got a question for all of you guys out there. What would it take to convince you to try some test tube fast food? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks to our sponsor, Toyota. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to join the Forward Thinking Think Tank, and check out these other videos right over here.